two equations expressing the equilibrium uh, vapor pressure uh, for a temperature, uh, but they don't, and they tell you it's for zinc, but they don't tell you which one of the equations is for solid and which one is for uh, liquid. So the question is, uh, which of the two is for solid zinc? Now, one solution is to look in the back of your book because you have all the data and that'll tell you which one it is. Uh, another solution is to uh, substitute some numbers and uh, look at what comes out. So in particular, uh, you know, if we have, say, pressure versus temperature, at some point we're going to have some uh, temperature where the two pressures are equal. And when that happens, uh, we know that if we go slightly above, that we should wind up with a pressure for liquid, which is lower than uh, for solid. So let, let's do that. So in fact, we're just going to take and equate the uh, natural log so we can set this side and this equal to each other. So we can say minus 15,780 divided by T minus 0 0.755 natural log of T plus 19.25 is equal to minus 15,250 divided by T minus 1.255 natural log of T plus 21.79 and solving we get T equals 712K or I'll call it T star. Great so that is the point where the two are equal. Let's go uh, slightly above that. Test uh, T equals 713K. And when we do that, the left-hand side, this equation, turns out to be 3.9 to 9 times 10 to the minus 4 atmospheres. And the right hand side turns out to be 3.924 times 10 to the minus 4 atmospheres, which is less. This is the liquid. And looking in the back of your book, uh, we indeed find that this is the expression for the vapor pressure uh, above liquid uh, zinc.